Hello, and welcome to Charter's Local Edition. I'm your host, Lori Farkas. Joining us now is Representative Steve Harshman. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, there's a lot going on in this session, and some people are saying that this is even one of the most important sessions that we've had in years. Right. Um, give us your take on some of the, the biggest things that are going through, of course, sure. probably education. Right, I think you know our K-12 education is um, it's fundamental issue to all our communities. Uh, we we uh, place such value in our small towns. I mean, we're going to continue to have our small schools. Those things all cost money. And I think uh, uh, of all the things in government, state and local, all those things in Wyoming, uh, there is no sector of government service so dependent on mineral producers and the taxes paid by those folks than K-12 education. About 65 percent of the daily operating costs of K-12 education are are uh, funded by minerals and then and then that doesn't even count the major maintenance or construction that's a hundred percent dependent mm -hmm. on mineral revenues with coal lease bonuses and so uh, we've had such a drop in coal natural gas and oil and then of course that affects the the value and the property taxes that are paid by those producers along with severance taxes and um, so it's had a, this has been the biggest drop in the history of our state so no one in the legislature or the governor or anyone else has seen a drop this quick and by this proportion, 25 percent, uh, like this. And I'll, with that, I'll say we're probably the most prepared generation. We have, you know, we've had savings and those kind of things. We're spending our savings now. But um, the idea is, I mean, how are we going to have some kind of comprehensive mm -hmm. solution to this moving forward? Right. And uh, that's what we're all working for. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of movement this week, actually. Um, the omnibus bill was introduced, and um, there's some interesting things in that bill, and it, that includes spending some of the rainy day fund. Um, that always really scares everyone. Whenever you mention the rainy day fund, talk a little bit about the implications and if people should be concerned. Right. Well, I think, you know, really that bill is, uh, is a as, uh, grows from the white paper that was mm -hmm. submitted really in December last year by a group of legislators and then lots of comments. There's 596 comments in a week and a half. I read all those. We've now brought this into a bill form. So we, you know, what I called the start of the beginning, now we're kind of in the middle of the beginning. And we actually have a proposal out there that brings a con comprehensive piece to this. And, uh, you know, we're gonna we are spending our savings so at the end of this this next fiscal year over three years we will have spent a billion dollars in savings across all government and we have about a billion and a half a little more left mm -hmm. and so um but i think that's why we saved it mm -hmm. and uh to stabilize during these downturns but uh, at the same time then we're looking at existing revenues we're looking at some reductions in the spending model and we're looking at uh, trigger on a potential revenue raiser if our savings drop below a certain level. Mm -hmm. So all those things are out there, and I'm sure there's other ideas that um, members w it will bring. And I think it's important for the public to really be involved with this. So mm -hmm. you can go to our LSO website, those kind of things, and get involved, attend the meetings. Yeah, and speaking of, you've mentioned to me before we started uh, shooting that your mailbox fills up pretty quick with those public oh, comments. Oh, yeah, hundreds well, of days. What are some of the things other than education that, that are hot topics? Well, I think there's a lot of social bills out there that folks, uh, and I would just say a lot of those, um, they're tough to make the finish line from uh, there's marijuana bills, uh, abortion bills, and and all those kind of things are out there, and we have to deal with those, and uh, it's frustrating for a lot of the public, <clears throat> and, but it's that's you know that's part of our job, and and uh, none of that none of these topics are easy, and we'll keep working on that. But I think the things that are really going to impact folks' lives, obviously, are schools. And this, this economic diversification piece, and the governor's talked about his endow program. We've taken that, I think, to the next level now. Mm -hmm. uh, President Bebout and myself, and and uh, so that'll be rolling out here uh, towards uh, as we get closer to the midpoint of the sec session. And and uh, we have some other tools too that I think uh, you know that will continue to. Um, everybody in the country is out to expand their economy and attract new businesses and all that, and we got to. I think we can do better we and get in the more. game. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. right. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you yeah, today. We well, appreciate you. you joining yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate We've it. We've been talking to Representative uh, Harshman, and you've been watching Charter's Local Edition, and we'll see you next time.